I'm Owen Hill and welcome to tutorial 5 of my Dribbling 101 series. We are halfway through and I have to admit, I sometimes struggle with this one. It sounds easier than it actually is, both feet outside only. However, you have to make sure you position your body either side of the ball before starting the outside cuts, otherwise you may go on autopilot and start an inside-outside or big toe little toe movement, which I confess I have done once or twice. So body position is very important to get this comfortably under your feet. I hope you have enjoyed the series so far. The next dribbling exercise is my favourite so make sure you subscribe and join me for episode 6 of my basic dribbling 101 series.